Deutsche Allgemeine Zeitung often abbreviated to DAS, was a German newspaper that appeared between 1861 and 1945. Until 1918 the title of the paper was Norddeutsche Allgemeine Zeitung. Although Wilhelm Liebknecht, one of the founders of SPD and close associate of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, was member of the founding editorial board in 1861, the paper became soon a conservative flagship of the German press. Bismarck's Hauspostil. At the end of the First World War, the name was changed to Deutsche Allgemeine Zeitung, under the intention to form a conservative yet democratic equivalent to the British newspaper The Times in Germany and give the Reich a more democratic image. Various liberal and conservative writers worked for DAS at that time. Otto Flake was head of the cultural section called Feuilleton. In German newspapers, people like the historian Egmont Zecklin, the German-Turkish journalist Dr. Friedrich Schrader and his Swiss colleague from Constantinople Max Rudolf Kaufmann worked for the paper. Hugo Stinnes took over the DAS in 1920 in an effort to secure industrialist influence. Stinnes invested in the newspaper, and it enjoyed a short period of financial success. The DAS became increasingly conservative. Paul Lynch, a former left-wing social democrat associated with Rosa Luxemburg, later during the war part of the right-wing Lynch Kunau Hainish group within the SPD, itself associated with and financed by the German-Russian Jewish socialist revolutionary Alexander Parvis, became foreign policy editor and later editor in chief of DAS, which he edited until his death in 1926. After the death of Lynch, until when the paper was a conservative supporter of the Weimar coalition Stinnes was associated with Gustav Stresemann and his DVP, the paper became, like the DVP itself, increasingly right-wing and closer to the Hugenberg press and anti-democratic right-wing circles. After Stinnes and Lynch's death, the Prussian government secretly bought the DAS in 1925. Less than a year later, the Reich government took it over, but it was sold again when the affair came to light. By 1930, the DAS had declined and was suffering heavy losses. In 